good day friends it is me hl mod tech and if you're looking beside me that is my code blocks turkey this little dude draws completely with code and is awesome today i also learned that we can bring him into tinkercad so let's get cracking Friends, the first thing I'd like to do, though, is give a shout out to the Facebook group Tinkercad for Education. I posted my project here, and it was completed by P. Joe Byrne, which was cool, and I'm sorry if I'm saying that name incorrectly. And then it was Guillermo that actually taught me how to use them as parts, and friends, that's why I'm creating this video. The technique is super simple once you've got your object built, like I've got my turkey designed. All we do is hit export, and we choose part. It'll ask you what you want to name it. I'm going to call mine Turkey 2 because I already did it once. You could give it a description. You could give it tags. You can make it solid. You can also lock it so people can't change it. I'm just going to save it. I'm also going to switch to my Cold Blocks Pilgrim hat because I think it'll look awesome on my turkey. Same trick. Export as a part. And this one I'm going to name uh, Pilgrim hat. And then I'm just going to save it. I'm not going to lock the size because I want to adjust it so it fits my turkey. Finally, I'm going to back out to regular Tinkercad. I'm going to switch to the normal 3D designs. And I'm going to create a brand new design. In this design, I'm going to switch to Shapes Collection. And these are my shape collection. When I click it, you can see I have got Turkey 2. And I've got my Pilgrim hat now available to me. When I click, I can bring it in. Because I allowed it to be scaled, I can adjust it in any direction. I'm going to just do Control Z. And then I'm also going to click and bring in my Pilgrim's hat. You could use the arrow to lift it, or you can do Control Up. I'm going to bring it to the turkey's head, and right now I'm going to hold down Shift and Squeeze so it keeps the dimensions I designed it with, but shrinks so it fits pretty decent on my turkey's head. Control Down. It pokes through his little eyeballs. I'm going to tilt it just a little bit so it's at an angle. And that, my friends, is pretty darn slick. I'm going to change the name of this little dude to Final Turkey. How cool is that? All right, friends, there we have a completely dressed turkey. Not quite the same kind of dressing you get for Thanksgiving, but still pretty fun. Once again, shout out Guillermo. Thank you so much for sharing that. And... Friends, if you haven't already seen these lessons, there will be links up above. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.